Well, at the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking, hoping really that, uh... If I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. If there ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. I think it's going to Sammy's like this is going to do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. I think she's setting her mind on doing something with Sammy's. Can't hardly see what. The shape is in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Pearl passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried a loss deep down. Started running girls out in the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen. Told him he was doing wrong by Perla, but more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending the message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights, getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. Walk on out front. You need to get on inside. Come. I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tickfall. It's safe. You... you don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Gonna take a look around inside first.
Everybody tells a story. Shot him as he was running away. Some kind of tattoo might mean something. Interesting. signs of being restrained. Looks like he took a knife to the gut. Never seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck are they burning? Some kind of incense or something. ceremony of some kind. Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. Think I have what I need. Should go meet with Father James. stress reaction but I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock we all heard it said before that uh, war is hell ain't no surprise there the pain the guilt the anger and the rage 
for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. It sticks to your soul. So I, uh, I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with him, willingly. That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French for covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. I need to show you something. Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher. My eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his hands off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? They're not so bad. This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But why hasn't someone said them to you soon? Be part of us, Anna, baby. Why did she make me feel welcome like I belonged? Is that why you went to Sammy? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I... I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The, 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 the crying. And the tears and, and, and the blood he was choking the, the, the savage. Look at me, Anna. People like this have a process for indoctrinating folks. Where else did Bonnie take you? A nightclub. Uh... Louis Blanche, that's where they bring people into the family. Yeah, I know it. The hippie club downtown. And that plane fraud? That's the only way they'll let you inside. Gotcha. Hey. I, I Hey, you 
did good here, Anna. Hmm. I did good. I did good. Be careful of the fallen sky. The mind is him, the flesh. Consumes it. The sky falls, the mind is him, the mind is him, the flesh consumes it. This girl needs help. Doctors and nurses looking after her. Do you really think that's what will happen? Girl like her with nothing to her name? I mean, they'd toss her in a padded cell and just forget about her. We both know how much this city cares for the poor and the infirmed. So we're all she's got. I'll get her some nourishment. You do what you got to do, son. Thanks, father. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells like right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. And ...is a moron. Just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. <clears throat> I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed. What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I'd take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs>